Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial by Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're going to go over how to duplicate any shape around a perfect circle, kind of like the sun shape that I have provided. So let's go over to the ellipse tool, and we're going to use that to create our first circle. If you hold shift while you use the ellipse tool, that'll give you a perfect circle. Now this circle is going to pretty much be our, our guide. And so we need to create our shape that we want to duplicate around this circle. I'm going to go ahead and use a triangle. So I'll grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to hold shift to create a square as I click and drag the, with the rectangle tool. And now let's, I'm going to rotate that so that we form a diamond. And then I'm going to get rid of the bottom point with the pen tool. Actually, I need to get that selected first. I'm going to use the pen tool to get rid of the bottom point. And now we have a triangle. Um, I'm going to make this a little more equilateral. So I'm going to grab the top point of this triangle with the direct selection tool. And I'm just going to shift arrow this up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to fill this in with black. And I'm just going to get rid of the stroke. Uh, it's kind of a habit of mine. You don't have to get rid of the stroke, but... I figure if we've got it filled with black, we don't really need one. And I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to situate it perfectly on top of the circle. If your guides are turned on, you'll notice that that actually will, will guide you when you get to the center of the circle. And you can just leave it on top at however whatever distance you want it to be above and around the circle. And I think we're, our triangle is a little big here, so let's go ahead and decrease the size. Okay, now we're going to use this triangle and actually use the circle to duplicate it around that shape. So let's select that and then we're going to grab the rotate tool. And with that tool you'll notice that it already gave us a center point right in the center of our triangle. We're going to simultaneously place a new center point and open up the rotate panel at the same time. So we want our center point to be the center of this circle because, like I said, the circle is kind of our guide. So if you hold Option and just sort of hover around the center, you'll notice it pop up and it'll tell you when, when you've hit the center of that circle. We'll go ahead and click there. And that, you'll notice the, the triangle rotated around that center point and it also popped up a little, uh, little window here, the rotate panel. Um, if it didn't, if you didn't see it rotate, it might be because the preview is turned off. You can check mark that to turn it on to see how far around the circle our triangle is rotating. Now the important part here, you want your shapes to be evenly dispersed around the circle. In order to do that, the angle at which you rotate needs to be able to be divided into 360. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use an easy number. 36 degrees because I know that that can go into 360 10 times which means it'll give me 10 shapes around the circle. I'm going to provide a little graphic here for you just uh, to show you some common degrees and how many shapes that's going to give you. That's also available in the description below if you'd like to download that and use a little cheat sheet. So I'm going to keep that at 36 and then I'm going to hit copy not okay. If you hit okay, that all that will do is rotate our triangle 36 degrees around the circle. If you hit copy, that'll actually create a duplicate triangle at 36 degrees. And that's the first transformation we want to do. So I'm going to hit copy, and you'll notice that we still have our original triangle that's at the top of our circle, and we also have a triangle rotated at 36 degrees. Now, don't touch anything at this point because we're just going to want to continue that transformation around the circle. And in order to do that, we're going to use transform again, and the shortcut key for that is command D. So just use that to go ahead and fill out the rest of the circle here. And then we've got our triangles evenly dispersed around the circle. And if you want, you can go ahead and duplicate this by holding shift and option and you can use the arrow key to the right and then I like to let go of option hold shift again use the arrow key to the left 
to place that circle right back where it was. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. And we'll go ahead and fill this one in with black. And that'll sort of finish out our sun shape. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Don't forget that probably the most important thing here is to make sure that the degrees in which you rotate are divisible into 360 because that will evenly disperse your shapes around the around whatever, you know, your logo, your circle, whatever you're working on. And that will create a lot more symmetrical design that should work really well for you. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, like and subscribe to receive more tips and tutorials. And if you want, check out these related videos you see here.